Hey guys, today I want to talk about iOS 11.3 Beta 1. It has been installed on my iPhone 10 and also, of course, all the other iPhones as well for about a week. And I wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough and overall update on how the software is performing, some of the glitches, some of the things that still need work, and uh, what we can expect in the future coming from Apple for the software that's soon to be released this spring, iOS 11.3. So let's jump right into settings and first cover some of the little glitches and things that are a bit annoying within the software. First off, if we go here under accessibilities, if we go to the side button options, we have an option that says use passcode for purchases. So essentially, if you're going to go ahead and make a purchase, you don't have to double press the side button to make the purchase on the iPhone 10, but rather you'll enter the passcode. But when you enable this and exit right out, so you have to create a passcode for this. There we go. Just any random passcode. See how the second thread comes up as if there's another passcode option that you have to enable and it just continues to do that so i know it is a beta software but as you can see there there's just some things that still need work look at all that so that's one of the minor things that's happening here at least with the passcode options settings there with the side button options for iphone 10. now if we go over to uh, let's say for example the dictionary here we have that the dictionary does not connect to the internet so if you depend on the dictionary option and you're looking to update to the first beta whether it was public beta testing or developer beta you may want to consider holding off just because of that a lot of people do use the dictionary options and it's not completely loading or loading at all with ios 11.3 when it comes to battery and performance the devices are performing a lot better and that goes across the board on all devices supporting iOS 11.3 in comparison to 11.2.5 and that performance also translates over to better battery life as well. If you haven't watched my battery a comparison between iOS 11.2.5 and 11.3 I'll leave that video in the description so you can see that the battery performance has definitely increased and also the actual performance of the devices as well. I think you'll be uh, somewhat surprised if you haven't seen those videos on how much performance we're getting out of 11.3. And believe it or not not some of the older glitches that I've talked about where you hold the power button until you see the slide to power off. Uh, you'll see that you can still uh, speed up the animations in iOS 11.3 by simply doing this, doing this, and then going back to the OS and you'll see the animations boom. So if you want to learn how to do that, let me go ahead and show you. The animation is super fast animation. Just with a blink of an eye, it opens an application. You can see there. And it works throughout all iOS devices. And iOS 11.3 Beta 1, I'm surprised that that's still there. So how do you get this animation uh, to work? By the way, it does leave after you unlock your device for the first time. So you would hold the power button until you see the slide to power off. Hold it halfway through and then click on the power button once. You'll see that little splash. Then hold side and power until you see the SOS cancel enter passcode and then once you enter passcode you're in and then it's really fast just like that now this is a glitch that's found intentional it's not something that you will come across but i thought it was rather interesting to share it as well now there's other minor glitches within the camera application i've noticed that some of the icloud photos are not loading properly and of course the iMessages with an icloud still having little issues with it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but overall the performance is good the battery is good and the software just has little things that need to be worked out like the dictionary thing and some other menus that we just talked about but other than that if you're looking to update to the latest beta none of these glitches affect you in any way i think it's a good update and it's going to be a solid update once it officially releases in the spring hopefully this upcoming week we'll see ios 11.3 maybe on the monday or tuesday we'll see the second beta for 11.3 and uh, we'll see what else apple brings to the table with 11.3 we're anticipating additional features features that would allow us to see the performance of the battery and the health of the battery and as well as uh, other additional toggles to stop throttling as we've talked about before so just wanted to give you guys a quick update ios 11.3 beta one and i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you really really soon peace